right, he is the former CEO of Microsoft, who is now the founder of USA Facts and the chairman of the LA Clippers, Steve Ballmer. Steve. How are you, Steve? Great to meet you. Nice to see you. You, uh, you bounded out here just the way I thought you would. With a little energy. You, oh, my God. And you're talking facts. <laughs> I love you. You are a ball of energy. Where do you get this energy, Steve? What are you smoking? <laughs> Can you share some with I even with... got off that caffeine stuff. I'm all LaCroix all the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh, yes, I love what you're doing, this USA Facts thing, right? Uh, tell the people what it is, because it's sort of inherently anti-Trump, because it's about facts. <laughs> well, we started, I started about uh, four years ago. My wife said I'd retired. She said it's time to get involved philanthropically. And, you know, we're focused on uh, kids and kids in need. I said, all we need to do is pay our taxes. Let's be good taxpayers. Government takes care of that. And she said... Dude, come on. We can do better than that. Right. But it got me to say, I wonder really where the tax dollars come from and where they go. It's so amazing. Just the facts. Right. People will, will like, scroll through 100 Yelp reviews to find a taco stand. <laughs> but they have no idea where their tax dollars go. And no you, you, did a, you did a deep dive like a businessman, because you, you were the head of Microsoft. You're a businessman. I said I at least ought to read stuff that's as good right. as you can read about to, any public To find company. out where the money's going, what it's doing, what the outcome is. And, exactly. And, and give us some examples, like health care. Take health care. Since 1980, health care per person, uh, inflation adjusted, is up 225%. 225%. Okay. Let's take a look. People like to talk about life expectancy. I'm not a life expectancy guy. That's forecast and futures. I just look at the average age at which people die. That seems to me about actuals, not forecast. Steve, you're never going to die. <laughs> I, I have a feeling that, that, that nothing can kill this right over here. That, this is... But in the last 20 years, average age at which people got, die has gone from 72.3 years to 72.9 years. Wow. That's it. Right. For all the money, we're just hemorrhaging into health care. You'd think we'd be buying people extra life. But obesity's up, a lot of these other factors. So are we spending our health care dollars well? I'll leave it to you to decide. Well, we need health care dollars, I think, a lot because we eat shit and we breathe shit. Exactly. If we, if we had a healthier environment to live in, the tax bill would, I mean, the health care bill would go way down. You've also studied the environment, right? Absolutely. I mean, the amount of disasters, as we're seeing another storm this week, right? Isn't, hasn't that, like, way jumped? Yeah, natural disaster declarations over the last uh, 10 years or so have jumped, in fact. And it's interesting. You can't actually say what does, what's caused it. But you can see things that are going on. You can look at the climate data. I'm kind of a science-oriented guy, I'll right. just tell you that. At USA Facts, we're not partisan. <laughs> we're not partisan no, on, that, on the issues. We're and, not. And that's we'll just why give you the data. It's great, because, because the second you take a side, people are going to then, in this tribal atmosphere, say, oh, I don't believe it, even though it's a fact. So that's great. You're just putting it out there. We'll take government right. numbers. We'll show you what they are. I mean, you can take a look and, at the border thing. Border agents are up. Right. Apprehensions are down. Undocumented immigrant estimates are flat. Well, you have to decide how you think about it. We can't tell you. Right. We'll just give you the numbers. So what about education? Are our children reading gooder? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, you got me there. <laughs> Here, you can look at that number. <laughs> education spend per student has about doubled over the class... Again, inflation adjusted over the last uh, 30 years or so, about double. And yet still, only about a third of our kids, third grade level, can read at grade level, are proficient in third grade reading. A wow. third of kids, and yet we have doubled spend. Speaking of spending, let me ask you this. I read the other day that you are worth $43 billion. Is that the number? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, of course, when you have that much, you're not getting the checkbook at the end of the month. And <laughs> I can't, I can't read it on USA Facts, so it must not be true. <laughs> 
<laughs> Go ahead. I, I, jumped. <laughs> I think Chris Farley died and went into you. I, I, I do. I, 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 but, <laughs> but, um, mm-hmm. but, I mean, does anyone need forty billion dollars? Not to live on. <laughs> but should anybody have forty billion dollars? FDR once proposed not just a minimum wage, but a maximum wage. Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's an interesting thing. Should anybody have it? No. In our case, will we have it? No. We're trying to give away the money, focused again on kids in poverty. All of it? We give away as much as we sensibly can in our you lifetime. Li- you can live on a billion, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can. Plus the clippers. I get to keep the clippers. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> no, um, but you, we, you don't need it. But the question is, can you do but, well with it? Okay, but like, I always base money on like, how much, what percentage of your money? You know, like when I started, I would do any job for $30. I, I did told jokes in bars with no stage with sawdust on the floor. <laughs> now they can offer me a lot, not your kind of money. But, and I won't do it because it's a day of my life. I don't want to go someplace and talk to corporate assholes. I don't care how much you pay me. You can't buy a day at the age of 62. So, what I'm saying, Steve, is... <laughs> I just gave a million dollars to the Democrats. Gotcha. For me, that's a lot of money. Because I think the most important thing to do in the world right now is get rid of Donald Trump, or at least check him. But it seems to me... Because, like, even though that's a lot of money, it won't change my life. I won't have to drive an Uber. I don't have expensive hobbies. I'm not one of those dumbass celebrities who has, you know, fucking... Let's not go into it. But But it seems like you could win this election by yourself. (laughs) And not feel it. And and me, personally, I would think that's about the most unethical thing you could possibly do. For yourself? You don't think... Turning an election is an ethical thing to do when the person you're running against is Trump? Then you get into the question of, you know, how you think about things. No, for my morals, no. I'm not buying elections. I'm just not doing it. Okay, I tried.